Hey, what's up everybody? Shane here with the Life and Channel Update. So last year, my wife Marie, my dog Sully, and I decided to pack up the van and hit the road to explore the country in search of a place for the new Fight Tips HQ. And after living on the road for a few months, we stumbled upon the perfect spot. Not too far away from where we grew up and close to family, we bought our very first home with a big yard, which was perfect for the little saw man, so we had a place to run around. And it also had this huge three car garage that we planned to convert into the new Fight Tips Dojo. So the idea was to turn this space here into my dream MMA gym. And thanks to Century Martial Arts, friends and family, and a little bit of elbow grease, we were able to do just that. So let me show you how we were able to convert our garage into the perfect martial arts dojo. Enjoy. So welcome to the new Fight Tips Dojo. Let me give you a tour. So when designing the new gym, um, there was two things that I was focused on and it was function and aesthetics because I knew this would be the studio space. I wanted it to have good lighting and to have a cool background. So we actually did rebrand and change our colors up, which you're gonna see in a bit. Um, we have a white background now so that the subject pops. And then uh, we went with red and blue as our colors. We'll, we'll get there, but let me show you around. So over here is the cage MMA area. This is where um, we're going to be doing plenty of wall work, cage drills, uh, defending takedowns from the cage, getting takedowns from the cage. And this thing is super heavy duty, uh, hammer drilled into the ground. This thing can withstand like 20 some thousand pounds. Uh, we had the heavyweights in here, Ray and Alex, and they were crashing up against it and it held them. So it's, it's pretty strong. It's good. This thing's, this thing's going to hold. Um, so you can expect a lot of uh, a lot of MMA drills, a lot of cage work uh, being done on this. I'm super excited about that. Um, so we're going to be bringing in more wrestling and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu coaches to help out with that stuff. Let's keep going. Woo! All right. So um, these are the new color designs that I was telling you about. Um, Century did a an amazing job um, with our new logo. Uh, this is uh, sort of paying homage to uh, growing up in the '90s. Uh, some of my favorite video games growing up: Double Dragon and uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, if anyone remembers that game. Zeke, the main character, had uh, 3D glasses on. So if you have 3D glasses, let me know if this pops out. Let me know if this works. Um, so I wanted this open area here so that uh, we could have, uh, you know, MMA practice going on, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing, Muay Thai. Uh, we had the Beacon MMA fight team. We had eight people in here. Got it too far track. and uh, fit everybody comfortably. They were sparring, they were doing uh, get up drills and takedown drills. 30 seconds. Now stay single, stay single. There you go, come on, there you go. Come on, grab your hips here, grab your hips here. And uh, it worked out, worked out really well. And I also uh, wanted this open space because uh, I love playing wall ball. I got, got plenty of space for my hand-eye coordination drills now, aka wall ball. Uh, here's the first heavy bag that we got. This is a banana bag, Muay Thai bag for our low kicks um, with our heavy bag stand. Perfect, uh, perfect bag right here. And you can see uh, the red, white, and blue color design that we went with uh, Century and co-branded fight gear on it. Super excited about that. Um, then we got our next heavy bag, which is our teardrop bag. This is good for the body work, right? The uppercuts uh, and also <clears throat> our clenched knees. Um, been spending a lot of time on this bag. Love this one right here. Get those 200 knees in. Great cardio. Great, uh, great way to, to tax the body on your opponent. Wear them down. Break some ribs. 
Um, so here is the boxing ring. Um, I put three ropes up. We got the corners, we got red corner and blue corner, and this is uh, a 12 foot ring right here. Um, this is for our sparring. Um, if you wanna simulate an actual match, this is where we're gonna be doing plenty of that, so you can look forward to, uh, to sparring being done in here. Can't wait to get the supermarket, El Supermercado back in here. Ricardo, if you're watching, Gotta get you in this gym, man. We gotta do, uh, we gotta do our, our trilogy fight, our sparring match. Um, the really cool thing about the Century Matt Solutions logos that they put on the ground, which I was super impressed by, is the traction that the paint has. If you've ever trained in an MMA gym before, you know how slippery the logos, the decals can get, um, especially once you start sweating. Um, but again, I was really impressed. This is like additional traction. Um, so you're definitely not going to slip on these mats and these mats were so easy to install um, As you can see these are Single pieces that just roll out. Um, so if I ever had to take these up for whatever, whatever reason It would be very easy to do that. So installing them was super easy cleaning them is very easy um, They were lightweight, but they have uh, great support um, I love the firmness of them. Like I said, there's enough uh, cushion for wrestling and grappling and takedowns um, but firm enough for kickboxing. So it's that perfect middle ground, everything that I was looking for in a mat. Couldn't be happier with them. Let's look at the rest of the gym. So we sectioned this off because I want to keep um, the, the people training, the athletes safe um, from the weights, right? I didn't want the weights right next to where people were gonna be doing takedowns. Sounds like an injury waiting to happen. So we sectioned that off with the cage here and then we have the weight section over here um, I still plan on building this out more. I, I want to put some mirrors up. So a lot to look forward to. I still want to decorate this whole gym, whether I put a mural up or uh, I, got, I got some pretty cool ideas. So you're going to have to stay tuned to see how much the gym continues to evolve. I have my very first speed bag. I've always wanted a speed bag. I always wanted to get good at a speed bag. I finally can now, uh, thanks to Sentry. So we've got the speed bag here, over here. One of my proudest trophies. 1 million sub plaque uh, on our way to 10 million. We just hit three. Can't thank you guys enough for all of your continued support. Been doing this a long time and uh, I feel like we're, we're only scratching the surface. We still got a, a lot of really cool stuff planned for you all. So, uh, so let's do it, rock and roll, right? Um, over here, I got my black belt, my Taekwondo black belt and certification. Another very proud um, accomplishment and feat that, uh, you know, it, I, I almost didn't get it. Um, when, I, when I got my red belt, I was, um, I was 13 and uh, I was starting to get, you know, I was starting to chase girls and, and went and hang out with my friends and uh, I almost didn't get my black belt and my dad forced me to stick with it. He was like, you're gonna thank me someday. Dad, here's me thanking you. Thank you for, for pushing me and making sure I got my black belt. Um, one of my proudest accomplishments and I'm, I'm very happy that I did. Up here is a kamidana, which is a traditional miniature shrine found in Japanese dojos. Uh, this was a gift given to me from Coach Bob Peach, um, head coach and owner of Beacon MMA. Uh, he brought this over as a housewarming gift. Um, these are used as a shrine for paying respects to, to ancestors or to deities. Um, often people will offer food or beverages um, and leave them there. Um, they have to be installed uh, above eye level, um, so that's why it's pretty high up on the wall here. Um, and you're not supposed to put it over uh, a walkway or an entrance, so you're not supposed to go underneath of it. Um, but yeah, thank you coach. Uh, love this and uh, found a great place for it here on the wall. All right, over here we got the boxing section. Um, I wanted to put a traditional heavy bag here on the fitness flooring. Um, because as you know, number one rule, no shoes on the mat, but if I'm wearing my boxing shoes, I want it to be able to have plenty of space to practice my footwork and still work the heavy bag. So um, this is a, a phenomenal bag. Um, like I said, just a traditional bag, but I've been doing a lot of my boxing here on this bag and I absolutely love it. So you can uh, expect to see more boxing videos here in this section. Um, some storage and gear over here with my boy Bob. Bob is like family, and, uh, and I'm happy to, to officially have partnered up with your family, Century Bob. Um, so if anyone wants a Bob, don't forget, he's under the Century banner and uh, officially teamed up with Fight Tips now. 
I think it's the most epic collab to have happened, I don't know, in our lifetime. I can't think of any others. Having this new Fight Tips Dojo is a dream come true. So there's lots to be excited about, including new series where we're gonna be showcasing different pieces of equipment and different areas of the gym, including how to increase your punch and kick speed using the different types of heavy bags, how to negate takedowns or get takedowns off of the cage, uh, ring generalship using the ropes and the ring. We're gonna be doing sweeps and takedowns, more jujitsu and wrestling stuff, and more street self-defense videos. So I cannot thank you all enough for making this dream a reality for all of your continued support over the years. Here's to much more content, much more success on the channel, and a huge shout out and thank you to the team at Century Martial Arts. Underdogs Worldwide, thank you all so much. So whether you are training with me online at fighttips.com or you're just watching the videos here on YouTube, expect to see a lot more stuff filmed here in the Fight Tips Dojo. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips for the underdogs.